Hello YouTubers, this is Shang. I have recently uploaded a detailed review of the Galaxy Note 4 on my channel. In this video I'll show you all of the device's software features including the S Pen functionality. I will walk you through all functions and pre-installed applications that make the Galaxy Note 4 unique and in my opinion the best smartphone of 2014. To begin with, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the S Pen. You won't find a stylus like this in any other device from the competition and S Pen will only work with the Galaxy Note series thanks to the extra sensors incorporated in the display. In S Pen settings, we can select from various detachment options and we have a choice of automatically launching the Action Memo or Air Command. S Pen Alerts detect when you get away from the device and sound an alert as you get away from the stylus. But what can you actually do with the S Pen? To begin with, we have the air commands that show up on the screen after pressing the button on the S Pen when held above the display. Here we have four options. First one is the Action Memo. When you select this feature, you'll be taken to a notepad and everything you scribble can be recognized by the phone to perform various tasks. If it's a number, you'll be able to dial it or send a text. If words, send an email or search for a place with Google Maps. Second option is Smart Select. This one lets you select a rectangular area on the screen to extract information. For example, to copy a piece of text. Third feature is Image Clip. After selecting that mode, you can highlight an area on the screen by drawing to then save it or share it. The last on the list is Screen Write. As the name suggests, it lets you write on screenshots and then share or save the notes. Those are not all of the S Pen features. Another very interesting one is Air View. By placing the stylus a few millimeters above the screen, you can interact with various data. In this way, you can browse the images in the gallery, preview links in messages, or scroll pages while reading. In settings, you can select the direct pen input. The smartphone will automatically detect handwriting, and it does it rather well. It didn't struggle even with my messy handwriting and detected text correctly most of the time. Additionally, it can detect mathematical formulas and symbols as well. The pre-installed S Note app is a very extensive noting tool. You can use various templates, for example for recipes, movie reviews or meeting memos. Adding a picture or drawing is also extremely easy. An interesting feature is the ability to record your sketches for playback later. After using the S Pen for over a month, it's hard to imagine not having it as it, it is a great gadget. Enough about the S Pen. Let's see what else the Touch Wisdom Galaxy Note has to offer. Let's begin with the multi-window mode, which aids in multitasking on the massive display of Note 4. Once you switch that feature on, in settings, in the corner of compatible apps on the recent apps list, you'll find a small icon. Once clicked, that app will show up in multi-window mode. Then you can select the second one from the list. At the center of the line splitting the windows, you'll find a dot that changes the size of the windows when dragged. Once clicked, it also displays a list of options. The first option switches windows, second lets you drag and drop content from one window to another, third minimizes that window, fourth expands it, and the cross closes it. Multi-window is not the only multitasking mode on Note 4. Hold the back button and a list of apps will show up that can be opened in a small window. This way you can open a few apps and minimize each for easy access later. Note 4 for sure is in the smallest of devices and one-handed use could have been problematic. Fortunately, in display settings, we have features that help overcome that obstacle. An example is the reduced screen size mode that can be opened by swiping from the edge towards the center and back. When it comes to other cool features, we have for example a blocking mode, where you can choose a period of time during which all notifications will be muted. The device also has built-in support for a few gestures and motions for calls and a cool palm swipe to capture gesture for screenshots. The built-in fingerprint scanner located below the home button surprisingly works really well. We can register up to three fingerprints. The best thing to do is to register the same finger three times when holding the device in different ways. This way you'll never have problems unlocking the device with the scanner. Additionally, the phone has a private mode which lets you select music, video, gallery elements and other files to password protect the access. Other than the standard package of Google Apps, we also have a few extra from Samsung on the list of pre-installed apps. Galaxy Apps is a Play Store alternative with special offers prepared especially for Galaxy phone owners. The offers are really interesting. 
Here you have a free 6 months teaser music streaming subscription, pocket up in premium version, and subscriptions to various magazines such as the New York Times. For the artists, there is the Sketchbook Pro from Adobe for free. Flipboard is a news reading app to find articles from various sources. In Note 4 we have an option to replace one of the home screens with a personalized Flipboard page. On the list of apps you'll also find an S-Voice Assistant from Samsung which supports a limited number of languages. What is interesting is the fact that you can wake up the device with a voice comment and because Google Now is also installed in the phone we can have two different comments for each assistant. Double tapping the home button will take you to S-Voice and long pressing to Google Now. Note 4 will also be an ideal fitness companion. The built-in S-Health app will help you track your, tr your progress and the podometer measures steps taken each day. The podometer is not very accurate unfortunately and it very often counts steps when you use public transport or drive, but it should come in handy to measure distance run. In S-Health you can also measure your pulse and oxygen saturation in the blood and track your weight as well as log meals for calorie intake monitoring. In Galaxy Apps you can also install a premium version of Endomondo for 6 months which is a great fitness assistant for runners. Smart Remote App helps you make use of the built-in infrared sensor. Here you can check what is shown on TV and take control of your television and other electronics using the remote feature. In Galaxy Apps you'll also find a software called SightSync. After installing this app on your computer as well, it will let you take control of your smartphone from the PC. The app works well when connected via USB, but I couldn't get it to work via Wi-Fi connection. The display in Note 4 uses the AMOLED technology. As opposed to LCD screens, there is no backlight and each individual pixel is lit up by itself. As a result, black background barely uses any energy. Note 4 takes advantage of that, offering various energy saving modes that extend battery life. As you've seen, the list of features on Note 4 is very extensive and no other smartphone can match that functionality. Make sure you check out my detailed Galaxy Note 4 review where I'll talk about other features of the device and show you the camera. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.